who's ready to rock today, Fire Nation? JLD here, and welcome to episode 1927 of EO Fire, where I chat with entrepreneurs on fire seven days a week. And from accomplishing goals to launching podcasts to creating funnels and webinars that actually, gosh darn it, they convert. I have four free courses that are awaiting you over at eofire.com. So go check them out. They're free. They're there. And now let's chat with today's featured guest, Sam McRoberts. Sam, are you prepared to ignite? I am, John. Yes. Sam's the CEO of Voodoo Marketing, the author of Screw the Zoo, and has been doing online marketing since 1999. Sam, take a minute. Fill in some gaps from that intro and give us just a little glimpse of your personal life. Yeah, so I started helping my mom with an eBay business in the late 90s and learned to build websites around the same time. And I've stuck in the space pretty much ever since. Mid-2000s, I started learning more about SEO in particular and kind of niched into that. Uh, and that's been my jam for the last 12 years. So what would you say today after, you know, what is it now? Coming up on, coming up on 20 years of you working in this biz, what's your area of expertise? SEO in particular, I do a lot of audits and technical SEO. Doing these audits, what's the one thing you just find over and over again that we're doing wrong, Sam? Break it down. For a lot of sites, it's on the technical side where the biggest issues are. So I hear a lot, you know, the best SEO is just great content. And it's true up to a point. But once you get to that point, your biggest gains will actually come from fixing technical issues like page speed or mobile usability. And a lot of sites miss out on both of those. What is your favorite tool when it comes to like site speed and then making the proper fixes based on the results? For site speed in particular, I really like using Pingdom tools. Um, and then for like my favorite all around SEO tool would be Screaming Frog. It's a site crawler that lets you get a really good view of your site from the perspective of a search engine. Pingdom tools and Screaming Frog. So that was pretty tactical as far as, you know, the site speed, et cetera. But let's give one more thing that you think is maybe really practical for listeners today that, you know, don't have a big team, don't have a big budget. Like what's something that we can do to help us out SEO wise? So one of the best things you can do for any given keyword that you're trying to rank for is go look at who's already ranking in positions one, two, and three, because that's Google telling you exactly the type of thing they want to see. The content length, the style, the optimization on the page, like Google's showing you this is a map to perfect for this keyword. And that's something that anybody can learn to replicate and take it one step further. Let's take one step in another direction right now, Sam. And I want that direction to be your entrepreneurial journey. Tell us the story of what you consider your worst entrepreneurial moment to date. What is that story, Sam? Take us there. So it was 2010. I was working at a startup. It was a large online marketing agency and I got laid off right about the same time I found out that my wife was pregnant. Um, and I had been working to build up a side business, but it was super slow going. So I was unexpectedly thrust into the world of self-employment. I tried for like a month to find another comparable job while also trying to get the business up and running and it just wasn't working out. So I decided to focus on building up the side business. And to be frank, that year was abysmal. I think I did a whopping $10,000 in revenue, but I learned a lot of lessons. And one of which was I was not ready at that time to be self-employed. There were just, there were too many holes in my knowledge, too many things I hadn't done yet, too many angles I still needed to explore. So went back to working for other people to fill those holes. So what's the one moment, Sam, drill down into that? Were you sitting in your parents' basement? Like, were you in a fast food restaurant, like crying into a hamburger? Like, what was the moment? Oh, dude, during the course of that year, I absolutely had points where I was bawling. Like, I was stressed. So take us to one. What was one? I was sitting in a basement apartment, actually, and I was just... I, I totally made that basement part up, but that's pretty cool. And you got it. <laughs> you nailed it. I felt completely overwhelmed, right? Bordering on suicidal at the time. I just, I, there were so many things. I had bills to pay, a kid on the way, and the business wasn't taking off, and I hadn't been able to find another job. And I just felt defeated. And then I reread The 4-Hour Workweek, which I'd read once before. I liked it, but this time it really resonated. And so I took away a handful of lessons from that that I was able to leverage. What's maybe one lesson you really took away? Like, what was one practical tip you like, oh, you know, I read this once, didn't really process it. This time I did. The concept of income per hour worked. 
Like it's the one metric that you can always boost and you can disconnect from everything else. So that led me to processizing my business and selling things as products instead of ours, which was huge. So that was really a tough moment for you. And a lot of people, frankly, just give up. You know, they go apply for a job like at the local Walmart and like, that's it. You know, 40 years later, they retire. What was different for you? Like, what was the moment things actually turned around? Like, what was the first shiver of light that you saw? I have always hated dancing to everyone else's tune. And so I refused to give up because that's what too many other people would have done. And I didn't want to go back the route of just being an employee forever. But I knew that I still had holes to fill. So I went back to being an employee in a specific set of industries to fill the knowledge gap because I wanted to, I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I just didn't know all the things I needed to do it yet. Fire Nation, twice now, Sam's used the words knowledge gap. You have to know what your knowledge gap is. I have knowledge gaps. Tim Ferriss has knowledge gaps. Everybody has knowledge gaps. I was just watching this great documentary, by the way. Highly recommend it. It's the new Thick and Grow Rich. You can just Google it. Um, I will say, don't be too surprised when you see JLD there. I was one of the features. But I love the part where they talk about Henry Ford and how he actually got taken to court for, actually, sorry, he was called incompetent by the Chicago newspaper. So he took them to court. And then in court, they kind of like gave him like this quiz. He's like, I don't need to know the answers to any of this stuff because I have all the people around me that are smart that know the answers. So I just ask them. So guess what? Henry Ford knew his knowledge gap, and instead of filling it because he didn't want to, he just hired people because he had the means to fill that knowledge gap. People like myself and Sam, when we started off, we didn't have the resources to hire people, so guess what? We figured out which knowledge gaps we wanted to fill, and we filled it. So what are your knowledge gaps, Fire Nation? Fill those. Now, Sam, let's shift into what you consider one of the greatest ideas you've had to date. Take us to that aha moment. Tell us that story. So it led from that down period, right? I began to think of my business less in terms of an hourly service that I was providing and more in terms of products. So it wasn't until around 2011, maybe 2012, I had gotten a job working at a different online marketing agency, uh, focusing more on bigger companies. And I realized doing that, I absolutely hated SEO fulfillment work, right? Writing the titles, sticking keywords in the content, like it was just two in the weeds. And I loved the strategy side of it. And so I completely shifted what I was doing for my own side business. And I started doing only audits and strategies. And so I was able to make a product uh, and sell these, you know, at a fixed price. I never had to discuss hours. I didn't have to tell people how long it was going to take to do. I made sure that I designed the entire product so that it had a very high perceived value and I could sell it accordingly. And that's been amazing. I mean, that's been most of my revenue since then. What I love about that Fire Nation, what I really want you to hone in on is Sam actually found something that he enjoyed doing. I mean, he found an area that he was more curious about, that he was excited about, that he was a little bit fired up about. And then he decided to dig deep in that niche. He found the niche and he dug deep in it. What's the niche that gets you excited? What's the niche that gets you fired up? Dig deep in that area. Go deep. Become if not the best, become one of the best. And then you're going to be sought after because you have that level of expertise that other people, A, probably don't want to have. Like, I don't want to have a high level of expertise in SEO because the time that it would take me to get that high level of expertise isn't worth for me spending time on other things that I enjoy and I'm good at. So I hire people like Sam to do that stuff for me because he knows it and he's great at it and he loves it. How can you do that for you, Fire Nation? Now, Sam, What do you want to make sure our listeners get from that story? Figure out what you love is great advice, but also make sure what you love is something that people are willing to pay for. So I made sure that I did that. There were plenty of people who wanted SEO. There were a lot of people who already had uh, internal teams who could take recommendations and run with it. They didn't necessarily need to hire an SEO agency or even a full-time SEO person, but they needed somebody who knew the space really, really well, who could give them a roadmap that they could just take and run with. And so that was a space that wasn't really being filled. And it's been amazing. It's a really, really good little niche in the SEO space. Sam, what are you most excited about today? What fires you up right now? Weirdly, it has nothing to do with online marketing. Uh, It's two things. So future technology and mental models. I'm pretty much obsessed with both. Talk more about it. Let's hear what's exciting about those areas. 
you mentioned Henry Ford. Uh, people like him, Ben Franklin, Andrew Carnegie, right? They all were great at looking forward in time and having a mental vision of where things were going to go. So on the future tech side, paying attention to innovations, uh, whether it's in the biology sphere, genetics, virtual reality, artificial intelligence, cryptocurrencies, right? These are all potentially significant innovations that are going to change the future. And being aware of all of them and digging deep enough to have at least a decent understanding can help you to spot where things are going down the road. And that's one of the best ways to succeed as an entrepreneur is to figure out where things are going to go and get there ahead of everybody else. Exactly, Fire Nation. Find out where the world is going and then take a shortcut, jump ahead and get cutting edge and see what transpires. It's a fun, fun time. Now, Sam, I would love to know what you're going to be dropping for value bombs in the lightning round, but just like everybody else, we're going to have to wait till we get back from thanking our sponsors. If you're not much of a designer, but are looking for ideas for your next logo, website design, or even your new business cards, then Design Crowd can help. Design Crowd gives you access to over 550,000 creative minds from around the world who will help you come up with your next design. Plus, Design Crowd makes it super simple. All you have to do is submit your brief, and then designers will begin submitting quality designs for you to review, provide some constructive feedback, and you can quickly generate multiple designs you love and that fit your needs. Why pay expensive fees? and wait weeks for an agency to pitch an idea when you can have exactly what you need within just three days. Design Crowd is so confident. If you don't like any of the submitted designs, they'll give you your money back. Visit designcrowd.com slash fire for a special $100 VIP offer for Fire Nation. That's D-E-S-I-G-N-C-R-O-W-D dot com slash fire. If you're ready to make a positive change in the new year that's guaranteed to help set you up for success throughout the year, then now is a perfect time to get your accounting in order. And lucky for you, there's FreshBooks. FreshBooks makes ridiculously easy cloud accounting software for self-employed professionals that allows you to send professional-looking invoices in seconds, spend less time chasing payments, and avoid that awkward talk with your client with automated late payment email reminders. Take pictures of receipts on your phone with their app, which makes claiming your expenses a million times easier, and accept online payments so you can get paid an average of two times faster. FreshBooks also helps you score daily wins in your battle against paperwork, say goodbye to the mountains of receipts, unpaid invoices, untracked billable hours, and all the other administrative things none of us have time for. To receive your free 30-day trial, no credit card required, visit freshbooks.com slash fire and enter entrepreneurs on fire in the how did you hear about us section that's freshbooks.com slash fire sam are you ready to rock the lightning rounds i am what was holding you back from becoming an entrepreneur introversion i am very much an intj hard on the eye and so having to be the face the spokesperson the salesperson for my business was a very uncomfortable hurdle to surmount um, and so I forced myself to start doing public speaking, speaking at different events, conferences, to force myself to get over that. It, it's been extremely uncomfortable, but worth it. What is the best advice you've ever received? It's probably some of the oldest recorded advice, and that's know thyself from Plato. So sharp dude, and it's a statement that can really be unpacked. But if you, it boils down to the better you know yourself, the better you're able to conquer and surmount everything around you. What is a personal habit that contributes to your success? I read anywhere from one to three books a week and have for as long as I can remember. What's your trick to speed reading or just getting enough time to do that? I read pretty fast by default. I also do a lot of audiobooks and crank up the speed so I can get through more. And then I make sure I take notes as I'm doing an audiobook so I don't miss things. Well, Fire Nation, if you're not an audiobook person, what are you doing? Because you like audio, you listen to this podcast, and you can get your first audiobook for free if you're not currently an Audible member over at eofirebook.com. On that note, Sam, recommend one book and share why. So my favorite book by far is Seeking Wisdom by Peter Bevelin. Uh, I've heard it recommended by a bunch of people, and basically it's the operating manual for the human mind. Uh, It serves as a brilliant compendium of a ton of other books. I'd actually say that at least 50 to 100 different books I've read, I could have saved myself those books by just (laughs) reading Seeking Wisdom. Sam, I want to end today on fire with you giving us a parting piece of guidance, sharing the best way that we can connect with you, and then we'll say goodbye. So I'd say figure out what your strengths are and focus on amplifying those. 
it's usually far higher leverage to improve your strengths than it is to try and improve your weaknesses. And you can always hire people to counterbalance your weaknesses, right? So true. So the best way to catch up with me on Twitter, I'm pretty responsive. Sam's underscore antics. I really should change that at some point, but I'm too lazy. (laughs) Well, now that it's on EO Fire, you literally can never change it. There you go. And then my gift to your listeners. So I set up a domain name that redirects to a course. I put it together an SEO course a few months back. So if you go to seofirenation.com, It'll take you over to that training course, and I'm giving away 10 free seats to anybody who hits that link. Whoa, whoa. Count nine, Fire Nation, because I'm hitting that link. Just kidding. I would never take one away from you. Um, real quick, Sam, what um, do you know? remember who the author is for Seeking Wisdom? Peter Bevelin, B-E-V-E-L-I-N. Peter Bevelin. Boom. Fire Nation, get over to seofirenation.com. Grab one of those 10 seats and know that you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You've been hanging out with SM and JLD today, so keep up the heat. And if you head over to eofire.com and you type Sam in the search bar, everything that we talked about today is going to pop up in those show notes, which are the best in the biz. There are timestamps. There are links galore. And Sam, I want to thank you, brother, for just sharing your wisdom and for sharing your journey with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, John. Hey, Fire Nation. Hope you enjoyed our chat with Sam today. And if you're ready to master productivity, discipline, and focus in 100 days, um, well, you're brilliant, number one. Number two, just visit themasteryjournal.com and use promo code podcast as a little discount code for listening to my podcast and I will catch you there fire nation or I'll catch you on the flip side make a positive change in the new year that's guaranteed to help set you up for success throughout the year with fresh books see why over 10 million people are using fresh books to get organized save time and get paid faster start your free 30-day trial at freshbooks.com slash fire and enter entrepreneurs on fire in the how did you hear about us section that's freshbooks.com slash fire If you're not much of a designer, but are looking for ideas for your next logo, website design, or even your new business cards, then Design Crowd can help. Visit designcrowd.com slash fire for a special $100 VIP offer for Fire Nation. That's D-E-S-I-G-N-C-R-O-W-D dot com slash fire.